rack chin. So this is a great option for working the length and range of our terrors major and also our lats. Now, if we're looking for purely a lat dominant movement, we would look for one where our elbow is a little bit more in front of us. If we're looking at hitting your terrors major, that wider muscle group right up here under the armpit, we're looking for that wider elbow angle. This gives you a couple of advantages over just a wide grip pull up. The first one being the angle that it allows you to set up at. Rather than being vertically like this, you can have your torso on a slight angle, but it's very important we keep that angle fixed. We don't start turning it into a row, okay? So what we're looking to do here is stretch right out through the armpits, and the important part of this rep is gonna be that length and range. I recommend wearing straps because the grip can get quite tough here. We're gonna hook the feet over the bench, okay? And we wanna have it set up so that our bum is nearly touching the floor at the bottom of each rep, but not quite resting on it. Then we're gonna think about driving our elbows down towards the floor. Nice, slow, eccentric, full stretch at the bottom of the rep. You should feel that stretch right down through your armpit. Now, when you get to the point where you can comfortably hit your rep range on just body weight, you're then going to switch to putting a plate or a short bar across your hips. And then it's exactly the same again, but it allows you to progress in load. And the second advantage that this offers over a chin up is how stable the position is. 